to start with, we're going to be removing this. Uh, how you would remove it, replace it, and then put it back in. All right. So we need to use a. Uh, you can use a numb iron tool, a little screwdriver, just kind of get it in here. Pop up the clips. There's one clip up here on the front. Just work it out. Pop this out, and that's how you remove it. There's one electrical connector back here to be undone, and we undo that electrical connector. This is all one piece, so when you buy a new switch housing or switch control switch, when you buy a new control switch here for the windows and the mirror controls, it's going to be all one piece. So what we've got to do is we've got to undo these three screws and pop this piece out and then pop a new one in and then we just go through the reverse process and put things back in. So with our, our uh, controls here, we flip it upside down. And so that's it removed. Like I said, it's all one unit. And so you would just buy a new one of these and put it back in here. So when you get your new one, if that's what your problem is with all your mirrors and windows, then you would just snap this back in and it just sits down into place there. Make sure everything lines up. And then tighten the T10 screws back in. Those are all good and tight. Everything works. So now we just go snap this, put the electrical connector back up on the car and snap it back on the car. Back over here at the car, we have our electrical connector down here. Just connect it and then just nice and easy, press it all into place. And that's how you replace your um, switch here, or all your switches, to be able to control the windows all the way around and the, um, the mirror controls. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.